Hello students. Today we will be doing the topic balancing of a redox reaction by half reaction method. I will quickly go through the steps involved. You need to first divide the reaction into two half reactions and then balance the atoms other than oxygen and hydrogen. Do not balance oxygen and hydrogen in step 1. Only the other atom needs to be balanced. Second step, oxygens would be balanced by using water molecules. Hydrogens will be balanced by using H positive ions, which means we will by default be balancing in the acidic medium. Charge needs to be balanced by electrons and electrons are negative in charge. Finally, the two half reactions need to be added so that the electrons get cancelled. If you are adding two reactions and you want the electrons to be cancelled, it clearly shows that the electrons of the two reactions should be on the opposite sides. If the first reaction has electrons on the reactant side, then the second half reaction should have electrons on the product sides. Finally, in case you are asked for a basic medium balancing, then you are not interested in the H positive that you have in your final net reaction. This H positive needs to be changed into water by what? By adding OH ions to both the sides. Now why both the sides? You cannot touch a balanced reaction on one side. Whatever you need to do to a balanced reaction, it has to be done on both the sides. The example that I am taking now is dichromate ion sulfite ions gives you chromium ion and sulfate ion. Dividing into two, your dichromate ion goes to chromium 3 positive and your sulfite ion goes to sulfate ion. Moving on to step 1. The step 1 says ignore hydrogen and oxygen and balance the other atom. Other than oxygen we have only got chromium but there are two chromiums here so you need to make a chromium twice here. This is the common error which I have always observed in the balancing done by the kids. After doing it twice the second step is oxygens by water. You have seven oxygens so I put seven water molecules. So that's seven oxygens here, seven here. Hydrogen by H positive. How many hydrogens do I have here? 14. So I need to add 14 H positives here. Coming to the last charge balance. This is the tricky part. Let's check the charges on both the sides. This side I have 14 H positives and 2 minus which makes it a 12 positive. Whereas in this side, I have six positives. I have electrons for balancing and electrons are negatively charged, which means I need to add six electrons on this side so that this side I'm remaining with six positives and six positives on this side makes the reaction balanced. So the final reaction, this one becomes 14 H positive plus six electrons plus your dichromate ion giving you twice chromium ions plus seven water molecules. This becomes your first half reaction. Moving to the second half reaction. Step one, balance all other atoms other than oxygen and hydrogen. You've got one sulfur here, one sulfur here, so it doesn't require any balancing. Balance oxygen by water molecules. You have three here, four here. So I need to add a water molecule here. Balance hydrogen by H positive. I have two H, H here. So I add 2 H positive on this side. Left is the charge. Let's take the charge here. 2 minus remains the charge. This side you have a 2 minus and a 2 plus. Makes it no charge here. I have 2 minus left here and a 0 charge here. What do I do with the electrons? I need to add electrons to balance the charge. So I add 2 electrons on this side. As I had already said, if your first reaction has got electrons on the reactant side then the second reaction definitely is going to have electrons on the product side. Before the two additions you need to cancel the electrons which will not be possible because in this case you have got six electrons on the right left hand side whereas you have only two electrons on the right hand side. So you multiply this equation by three and add them. Multiplying this by three and adding it here I get three sulfite ions plus three water molecules gives me 3 sulfate ions plus 6 H positive ions plus 6 electrons. 
the answer would be after adding these two half reactions. Six electrons and six electrons get cancelled. Six H positive and 14 H positives cancel. If I remove six H positives from these 14, how much am I left with? I am left with how many? Eight. So I have eight H positive left over. Three water and seven water gets cancelled. I am left with four water molecules. I don't think anything else is getting cancelled. No. So let's add the two. 8H positive plus 3 sulfite ions plus dichromate ion gives me twice chromium ions plus 3 sulfate ion plus 4 water molecules. Let's check it out. Hydrogens 8 on this side, 8 on this side. Oxygens 9 plus 7. Makes it how many? 16. This side. 12 plus 4, 16. Charge. I have 8 plus 6 minus 2 minus. So 8 plus and 8 minus makes it 0 charge. Here 6 plus 6 minus. So 0 charge. It remains balanced. This is the answer if you are asked for acidic medium. Just in case you get the same question for basic medium. Of course, the products should be different, but in case you are getting it for the basic medium, the key point, last step is, you need to change your OH positive ions into water. Where do I have the H positive? Here. What do I add? I add 8 OH minus so that this becomes 8 water molecules. But to a balanced equation, you cannot do anything on only one side. You need to do the same on the other side too. So you need to add 8 OH ions on the product side also. Now these two will make eight water molecules. So you need to cancel these water molecules with this water molecules. So your answer in case the question is in basic medium would be eight water molecules and two water molecules, four water molecules. Cancel them out. You're left with four water molecules on the reactant side. Sulfite ions, dichromate ion, chromium ions, Sulfate ions, water gets cancelled, 8 OH minus. So in case you are asked the same question in the basic medium, your answer becomes this. Where you have changed your H positive into water by adding OH ions. The same number of OH ions also need to be added on the product side because it's a balanced equation. So this is how we proceed for Balancing by half reaction method. This method is also known as the iron electron method. With this, I close my class. All the best kids. Thank you.